Hi and welcome to another card making video. Today I'm happy to join Alta New for their new Craft Your Life kit. This is a monthly kit that comes with much, much products. So you get this stamp set, which is going to give you a couple of uh, roses. You get the outline so you can color it in with your favorite mediums, but also you get the layers if you want to quickly add color and interest along with leaves and many different uh, sentiments that you can play with. There is also a leaflet that gives you some ideas on how you can use the set. And then in the kit you get coordinating products. So you will get the matching dies to cut out the leaves and the roses. You'll also get three stencils. So you can add sentiments, you can add uh, stripes, you can color in the leaves as well as the flowers. And you also get an embossing folder. And I will use everything today so you can see it in action. Keep in mind that this is part of a blog hop. There are lots of giveaways to be won, so make sure to visit my blog to find out all about it. So I'm starting by stamping the flowers and I'm using black ink for the outline. And I also stamped a few leaves. You can color them in with your favorite coloring medium. I decided to go with the layers just because they add interest with no effort at all. There are only two layers for these flowers and they are going to leave some white space on top of them. If you don't like that white space, you can start by completely covering it up with a solid color of your alcohol marker or add color with your blending brush or even start with a colored cardstock. So here I picked the two lighter colors from this set and I'm starting with Arctic. This is mixed media ink. It is pigment ink and it's going to stamp nice and vibrant. And since this is quite of a solid stamp and it is the first time that I'm using it, you did show me rubbing my palm on top of uh, the stamp just to prep it a little bit to get a good impression. And I'm getting ready to stamp with the second layer. I'm using Caribbean Sky. It's a lovely blue color. And when it comes to winter cards, I don't mind using flowers. However, I like to use cool colors for them. So here I'm using blues and it gives kind of a winter vibe to it. And you see, it did leave lots of white space since these two layers just add the shadows. Now I picked a couple of green shades so that I can uh, ink blend my leaves. For that I'm using the stencil. And this is the stencil that you can use if you want to apply a first layer on the roses as well. So I'm going to go with uh, a small burning brush and add my lightest color and then I'm going to move on and add a touch of darker shade just so that uh, the leaves don't look super flat. And I will repeat the same process for the rest of the leaves. In the kit you will find also matching dies so you can cut out everything. And up to now I did use the stencil, the stamps and the matching ties. So let's go ahead and create a background where all those flowers are going to live and also incorporate somehow the embossing folder. So I'm starting with a colored cardstock in a blue shade. I used a masking tape on an angle, but you really don't need to do that as I'm going to, color, to cover up completely that seam. In any case, I didn't know what I was going for at the moment. So I'm choosing the two uh, mixed media inks that from the same set as the two shades that I used for the flowers, but this time I'm using the two darker shades. I'm using my big uh, blending brush and uh, if you haven't tried before blending with uh, pigment inks, keep in mind that they blend beautifully. They stay on top of the paper for more time than uh, uh, dye inks or uh, hybrid inks, which means that it gives you more time for uh, them to blend. They kind of work like uh, Tim Holtz oxides, which are uh, really a dream to blend with. So here I went with an ombre look from darker to lighter and I did start with colored cardstock so that I didn't have to add too much ink and I didn't have to blend for a long time. It was easier and quicker. Now let's grab the embossing folder and I have a piece of white panel that I cut out in an angle. I'm going to run it through my die cutting machine and the result is just stunning, just like with every 3D embossing folder. 
I need one final thing before I start putting my card together. I'm using this silver glitter cardstock and I'm going to cut out a strip. And now it's time to assemble my card. At the back of uh, that white piece, I'm going to stick this uh, silver strip of paper just by using my glue. This is going to add kind of a barrier between the white and the blues. And silver always is perfect with these colors. I placed the white panel on top of the blue one by using foam tape at the back so it is a little bit erased. And then after rearranging the leaves and the flowers for about half an hour, I finally decided on how I want them to go on top of my card. And for some of the elements I'm going with foam tape, for others I'm going with just glue. I just want to have some extra dimension there which always helps the elements pop and uh, give more interest on a card. To finish off my card and to add some extra sparkle I did add a few white gems and for a sentiment I went with a simple hello. I placed this panel on top of an A2 standard card and here are some close-up photos. Just like always down below you will find a full list of all the supplies that I used. Don't forget to like the video and leave me a comment. Thank you all so much for joining me and I'll see you all next time.